Oi, I didn't notice you are there, but since you are there, it's time for me to tell you about this little beauty in my hand. It's a reusable, collapsible Stojo coffee cup. And no, this video is not sponsored, it's my honest opinion. And since I had this cup for almost a year, I guess I'm ready for a very detailed review of this cup, so I can share with you my pros and cons of owning, using and enjoying this cup. Let's go. So basically, what is Stojo besides it's a coffee cup? The best thing about Stojo is that it's actually collapsible and you can easily reduce it to this little pancake. So it's easy to carry, it's quite lightweight and it's convenient. Whenever you need it, you open it up and can use it again. Stojo is made from high quality food grade silicone and as well as sleeve, they're plastic, high quality food approved, food grade, and also recyclable plastic. And the fact that this thing is reusable, you can just rinse it and reuse it many, many times. It will gonna last you several years, supposedly. This is a nice eco alternative. This detailed review of Stojo Cup is going to consist of four main parts. First, I want to tell you about the brand, because they have a cool story and it's worth telling you about. The second is all the specs, more detailed about the materials, the dims, the sizes they have, and so on. The third part, the main part, the pros, so the benefits, why I personally enjoy using this cup. And the fourth part, obviously, the cons of using this cup. If you're only interested in certain parts, use the time code that will be linked in the description below. As well, you can scroll through the YouTube function. It allows you to skip to other chapters of this video. So let me tell you the story of Stojo Cup. So the company was created by a few guys who were living in a big city, actually in New York. They used to buy lots of coffee to go and they were disturbed by the idea how many disposable plastic or paper cups they have to go to. At the same time, buying a bulky coffee tumbler was not an option for them because they didn't own cars. They would, they would be always on foot, always on the go. So, you know, after you finish this coffee, you don't want to carry this bulky, heavy coffee thermos or coffee tumbler with you. So, so they started thinking what could be an alternative, something that's reusable, which is more sustainable, something that's also more convenient than the conventional coffee tumbler. And that's how they came up with the idea that they need something collapsible, super lightweight and compact to carry with you every day and whenever you need coffee you just take it from your bag open up expand it get your coffee in it and you're ready to go and whenever you finish your coffee you can collapse it again and just put it in your bag in your pocket in your backpack one of the guys in the company had the engineering background so he started like creating prototypes for this potential collapsible cup i think they went through different prototypes and now eventually it looks like this Another cool thing that I personally love about this company and I relate a lot to it, those guys, they used to work in the corporate finance in New York and they quit their job to start this small business, you know, the Stojo company. I actually didn't mention it, but Stojo is a Stojo is a small business, maybe not so small anymore, but it's privately owned company, which is a great thing, you know, and it's also American based business, which is also a great thing to support for us people living in America, at least. And also the company is following sustainable practices. I will talk about it a little bit later in the video, but at least one thing I can tell right now, they are part of the program 1% of the planet and that makes them even better. Another thing that I really like about Stojo that this brand has patents, US patent, patent, how do you call it? So that means the guys really thought about the construction of the cup, they really engineered certain things, they, you know, claimed uh, the patent for this. That means they're taking this brand seriously and they're taking the, and they're really thinking about every little detail. And you can actually see that this cup is very, very well thought of, thought through, thought through. Yeah, somebody was really thinking a lot how to make this coffee cup convenient, you know, like leakage free and so on. These are a few bits about the company. Let's talk about the product itself, about the cup, about the specs, dims, dimensions, sizes, whatever. Let's talk about the build first. The cup consists of two materials. One is a high quality food grade silicone. It's actually certified by German standards, which are the high standards for food grade premium quality silicone. And the main part, the main cup is silicone, the squishy one, as well as this little cover that's used to open the drinking hole, I don't know, the drinking thing, as well as to close. Other parts of the cup, this, pl this plastic sleeve that makes you keep your drink when it's hot, as well as the lid, 
They are made of uh, high quality food grade FDA approved plastic, which is polypropylene number five. And this plastic is recyclable, which is a great news. By the way, if you want to know more about which materials are recyclable, which are not, what are the difference between different plastics that are recycled or not, I have a series of videos about that and I will link them somewhere here as well as in the description. Go watch them afterwards. Also, the great thing about uh, Stojo Cup is it's BPA-free, chemicals-free, it's not going to leak some crap into your drink, so, which is really good. In terms of sizing, uh, Stojo has four different sizes. This is a size 12 ounce or 30 or 355 milliliters, which is, for me, the best convenient cup for coffee. They also have a smaller size and they have a bigger one, 16 and 24, 22, something that's lots of people in America would probably love. I actually own two sizes. One is 12 ounces and one is 16 ounces. And later on, I will explain why the heck do I even need two cups. If you care about how your cup looks, though, the good news is that Stojo has more than 20 options for colors. And I actually really like their selection of colors. For example, this is my favorite, it's called Sage. And I think it's beautiful, if that is what matters to you. The cup is really lightweight. This one, I think like 100 grams or four ounces. And on the website, you can get all the detailed spec specs, for example, how high, how wide it is. So you can even see if it will fit wherever you want it to fit. In terms of this cup, as well as this cup, it fits easily, at least in my car, you know, like coffee cup pop pocket. So it's super convenient as well. Be besides the cup itself, Stojo also comes with the silicone straw. This particular 12 ounce didn't come with the silicone, but the bigger ones like 16 and the other bigger one, and even bigger than that, they come uh, with the silicone included. So what I like about this straw, it's silicone, it's soft, it's actually very nice. And also it's wide enough for you to drink smoothie or the way what I'm doing right now to drink the boba. The boba doesn't get stuck there and it's really nice. Also, I guess it's important to talk about affordability of this cup. So the smaller cup is priced at $15, one five, and this one is $20. For me personally, I think it's a good deal because most of the cups or tumblers would be higher than that, especially the, the brands, for example, the Keep Cup, it's $20, I think, or $23, can be even $26 for the bigger one. The Hydro Flask Thermos is also from $26 to $30. There are like cheaper brands, for example, this super popular Contigo brand, I guess, I, can, I guess you can get for $10. So this thing is maybe not the cheapest thing on the market, but I believe that $15 or $20 for something that's gonna last you quite some time and is highly convenient in case you need something collapsible, I think it's a good price. So this particular Stojo I had for almost a year, as I said already, and I believe this is a game changer for me. This cup has few cons and I'm going to talk about them later in the video, but mostly it has pros and I'm going to list all the pros in a second. I was actually so satisfied with this cup, so a month ago I ordered this cup for me and my husband. Okay, let's start with the reason why I personally love this cup. The first one is convenience. This cup, at least for my needs, is really, really convenient when it's, you know, expand it, it's really convenient to hold it, it's convenient to drink it. I actually have some boba tea in there. And when it's collapsed, it's also very convenient. First time when I received this cup, I was thinking it's a little bit bulky. I was hoping it's going to be smaller, but it is what it is. But then I got used to it. And although it's not as like super, something super tiny, it's still very convenient to put it in your bag, put it in your backpack when you go. Also, what I noticed, because it's actually collapsible, I started taking this uh, cup when I travel. So whenever I was traveling, I could always bring my Stojo cup. I, I took it for camping. I even took it to serve on like public events whenever we had events. And instead of using disposable cups, I would just drink coffee from my own Stojo. And even in simple situations, for example, in the morning, I would walk my dog, I would make the coffee, go for a walk. And then whenever I finish coffee, I just collapse it and put it in the pocket. Obviously, it's not going to put in every pocket, but in most pockets or even in the backpack or my fanny bag, it will fit. Okay, this was about the carrying it around. What about the drinking experience, drinking convenience? In terms of drinking experience, I actually quite like it. It's comfortable to drinking, it doesn't really leak. It might be a little bit of coffee around it, but it's nothing special. At least it doesn't drip on your face when you drink, so it's quite well made and well thought of. 
when the liquid is hot, the fact that they have this plastic sleeve helps you a lot. You can just hold it like this, and I never had the problems with like burning my hand or anything like that. In terms of the straw, it comes really tight, so even if you're holding your thing like this, nothing gonna leak. Before I bought the bigger cup, I read some reviews. People were saying that the bigger cup is too flimsy, and sometimes when it's full and you hold it, it's uncomfortable. I never noticed that, but I think the problem might be that the people didn't assemble it right, they didn't fix this thing right. It has to be really tight, and then it's not flimsy. You see, yeah, like I'm trying to squish it. Also, regarding the silicone straw, it was my first time drinking from the silicone straw. I used to have glass, metal, bamboo before, and I never knew that silicone is so nice. Actually, I love it more. It's kind of nice that you can squish it when you're drinking. It actually feels much better than other types of silicone straw. Now I'm a big fan of silicone straws. Actually, the cool thing about a straw that you can actually collapse it, put it inside, close the cup, then you can collapse your cup, put this thing back in there, close the lid, you see, it's sealed, and there is nothing leaking. Nothing. And nothing is leaking. And you can just put it in your bag, and you're ready to go. Another cool thing about the Stojo cup, let's say you go to some coffee shop and order a drink in your own cup. They have this also measurements in here, so the barista can see, depends on how much coffee you ordered, you know, how much he's pouring, which is quite convenient because they never know how big is your cup. Let's talk how leak-proof is this cup. So when I bought this cup, I was a little bit worried that after I finished my drink and I collapse it and I put it in my bag, is it gonna leak inside? Is this thing gonna come off? Actually, you see, you can close it like that, but is it gonna come off and just, and those leftovers gonna spill inside my bag? But in my experience, if you close it really tight, this silicone flap, it doesn't come off, it stays put, it doesn't open in your bag, this thing doesn't open, so never ever any leftovers of the coffee spilled inside my bag which was really nice make sure you always close this thing before you put it in your bag so no leftover coffee will spill inside another pro of this cup which may be not the most important thing on earth but it is important for me personally i don't really like uh, plastic coffee cups but this one is half plastic half silicone and it actually feels much nicer and i have pleasant experience like aesthetically pleasant experience drinking from it and the design is well thought of and it looks modern and i think it's stylish and the colors are awesome too another pro for me that as I mentioned before, the cup is made from high-quality silicone, high-quality plastic. It's, it's really crucial because lots of cheap alternatives might have like BPA inside or might have some other crap that's going to leak in your drinks. But what I really love that guys in Stoja, they really take pride in having like high-quality products. So, for example, the manufacturing facility as well as sourcing partners of, the, of this cup, they all undergo, you know, like high standards of production, ISO, ISO 9001, ISO 14000 which is the standards, high, the quality standards for environmental practices as well for quality of the material. So it's really nice to know that when I bought this cup, I invested in something that's food safe as well as high quality. Which brings me to my next point about the longevity. When I buy something, when I invest in certain brands, I really want those things to last longer. I'm not the person, especially if you watch my channel, you know that. I'm not the person to swap things, to switch things, to constantly buy something new trends. If I buy something, if I love it, I'm gonna use it until it lasts. On the Stojo website, they say that this cup is supposed to last you for several years. As I said, this green cup I had for a year, and I can tell that it didn't lose any properties. It's still like, you know, it collapses and expands nicely. I don't see any deteriorating of her functions. So I think that this thing should be long lasting. Obviously, we'll see, but I think one year is already a good test test because I had certain brands that would not perform that well even after three or four months. Other pros of this cup, which is might be important for some people, it's dishwasher friendly as well as microwave friendly. The only disclaimer about microwave that when you use it in the microwave, you're supposed to remove the plastic parts and only keep the silicon parts. But supposedly it's uh, microwave friendly. In terms of dishwasher, you can put all the parts on the high, uh, top rack of the dishwasher and just wash it there. In general, the pro is that this cup is easy to clean. You just 
just easy to remove all these little parts and it's and you can clean it so nothing gets like you know dirty obviously because it consists of so many parts thing consists of four parts it might be not super convenient because you have to assemble it wash it put it on the dryer then put it together so maybe for some people it's not the easiest way to do for me i don't think it's really difficult but something to mind and obviously you have to make sure you don't lose the parts actually if you lose something it's not a big problem because what i like about this company if you go to their website they sell all these little parts separately so if you lose this flap you can just go and order another one instead of buying the, the whole cup which is actually a good sustainable practice that they sell all the parts all the replacements but it's time to talk about cons. Nothing is perfect in the world and none is Toja. For me personally, those cons are not important and I would say they just slight disadvantages owning this cup over something else. But I think for some people they might be important. That's why I'm gonna be talking about that. The most important thing that I have to mention that you can't treat this cup as a tumbler or insulated coffee mug. This thing is not gonna retain the warmth of the drink, you know, it's not gonna keep the drink hot for a long time. Basically, you have to compare it to disposable paper cups. Maybe it's gonna keep a little bit longer, but not much. If you're the person who's gonna buy coffee, drink it right away, or like, you know, within short period of time, you would love Stoja. If you are the person who's gonna make the coffee in the morning and then drive to work and expect to drink it, this coffee, after 30 hours commuting, although nobody commutes, most people don't go to the office anymore. Anyway, this is not an option for you. This thing is not going to keep the drink hot. Again, as I said, for me, it's not a minus. It's actually a plus because I hate hot liquids. And me personally, most of the insulated coffee tumblers, I can't even use them because whenever I buy coffee, I have to wait for 20 minutes for coffee to go cold in there. But for people who like, like scalding hot drinks, they might not like Stojo. Another important thing that Stojo is not completely leak proof when it's full so if you are the person who wants to make your own coffee put your uh, coffee cup you know with the coffee inside in the bag and just walk like that that's not an option for storage it is actually somewhat leak proof for example let me show you i'm gonna close the flap so you see nothing leaks and I'm shaking it. But obviously, if you put it in your bag, there is a risk that you're gonna squish it or something gonna open. So I would not suggest to put full cup inside your bag. I don't know, even the guys on the website, they don't suggest you doing that. So again, if you're looking for something that you can store in your backpack and it can be like, you know, rotated there, let's say you go camping, you put your coffee in there, put you in your, inside your backpack, maybe it's not the best option. And the third, Con. This one is actually I personally hate. After a while, my coffee cup started smelling like coffee. Oh yeah, it smells like coffee. It's nothing bad if you, you know, use it only for coffee, but for me, the reason I actually had to get a second cup, because sometimes I wanted to use my stojo for boba tea or for just regular tea. But for me, if I put my tea in here, it smells like I'm drinking coffee, which I personally can't do because I'm a tea snob, as you might know. That's why I had to order another stojo cup. So keep that in mind. If you want to use the same cup for several drinks, let's say you want to put smoothie in, the, in there, you want to put tea, you want to put coffee, you might not enjoy it much. And also actually it's not only smells like coffee, it also gets stained from coffee. So you see it's kind of like yellowish inside. So if you order like a light colors of Stojo, it's gonna get stained. For me personally, I don't give a crap if it's stained or not inside, you know, it doesn't get stained outside. But the smell is something that I didn't like, that's why I had to order another cup. I don't see a big problem owning two cups, but obviously if you are the person that sometimes you order tea, sometimes you order coffee, basically you'll have to carry two cups that's going to be annoying you know there is actually a life hack about staining as well as about the smell you can wash your cup this life hack i actually read on the stojo website and frequently asked questions you can actually wash your cup with hydroxide peroxide and it will remove the staining as well as the smell but i can imagine myself doing it once in a while to kind of you know refresh my cup but i can't imagine doing it every time before i decide to switch the drink i guess that's it for today i hope you liked my little review don't forget to subscribe to my channel for different sustainable and life-related videos. I think I will be doing more reviews of different products and my principle is to only review products that I personally used for quite some time, which is this cup. I use it for a year. And if you like this kind of honest reviews based on long, at least longer experience, it's not just I bought it, this cup yesterday and I'm so excited to tell you about that. That's not what it is. I, I'm a nerdy person who likes to dive deep. 
And this is what I did today. So if you like this kind of reviews as well as other related information, don't forget to subscribe, as I said. If you have any questions about Stojo Cups, leave them in the comment and I will gladly answer them. And see you in my next video.